Okay, today is March 1st. About uh, 10 to 3 p.m. And it's snowing outside. Look at that mess. Windy as heck. And it's uh, Don Smith Day. Got a corridor made up. I got copper pipe tubing, half inch, five this way, five that way, center, down the blue coil. Blue coil is half and half, 50-50. Spark gap, I got a fluorescent ballast running the TV flyback. Got to combine here. Going to three capacitors. Through the coil, back to the spark gap, back into the high voltage side of the flyback. I also have a 100 watt lamp there. So I'm using 60 hertz, 120 volts AC. I got about 410 milliamps, 40 watts out of this system. And if I pull a, got a nice big chunk of uh, ferrite in here. Big chunk of it. That is a huge, heavy piece. See how much it helps to get uh, the uh, conductor. This is not in the fucking any resonance or anything. Well, it's all the way in there, all the way up to this point, from about here to here, crossing the whole coil. Uh, it's a copper bolt-to-bolt spark gap, it's copper, and if I play with that, I mean, this side I won't get hurt, but let's we'll see what happens, if I pull it away, it gets, or if I push it in, don't want to touch that side though, this side is really hot, going right to the hot side here, going through the caps, going through on the other side of the coil here. It's a clockwise coil with two, one's clockwise, counterclockwise, and so they call it a reverse Tesla coil. It runs pretty smooth. It doesn't use a lot of power, 410 milliamps to run about a, it's running at 40 watts. So it's not that bright really. So I play with it again. See, it does the light. And push it in. If I push it in, it goes dim too. So it's about set right where it should be. Imagine if I had higher voltage caps, I'd get some more out of it. Uh, nothing really gets hot at all here. You get a little shock from the core on the flyback though. Not grounded at all. So nothing's grounded here. It's a free running coil. And I just have three high volts, they're about 1600 volts each. So uh, nothing to brag about. My next step is to see if I can tap off of it and put it into a, either high voltage. Now I'm turning the lamp back on here. High voltage diodes in uh, you know bridge rectifier setup and uh, yeah it'll light a 40 watt bulb real bright but uh, that's a 100 watt lamp there and it's only getting about 40 40 watts into it okay. so uh, I guess uh, there's no overunity here at all. Nothing. Uh, I guess if that was really and truly in resonance, I'm forcing resonance right now, but it is, it's an inductive resonance. It's not the uh, fundamental frequency, the natural frequency of the coils. But uh, if you touch the coils together like this, you see, they spark an arc. 
pretty bad too. It's sparking up my sparking up my copper tubing here, messing it up. But you can touch this. It's the cold side. It's cold electricity. Nothing will happen to you. Matter of fact, that doesn't even get hot. It's not even warm, really. It's about room temperature. So this is a Don Smith deal here. And I don't have the center tap going to ground or the spark gap in the center of it either. It's on the series side of it. So it's an inductive circuit. And it's about 80, 80 to 90 percent effective here. That's about it. So I'm going to cut it off at this. Look at some green lights over here. And some other future projects coming up. <coughs> That's a three-quarter inch or five-eighth inch tubing there. And I'm going to play around with some more stuff here before I give up. I'm trying to make a good ZBS circuit. This is a poor ZBS circuit. This is a little tiny one, three double O sevens. And that's another one. It's not very big. And then it's a pulse generator over there. This is a uh, slider Tesla coil. Right here, the slider test the coil. And I think that's going to wrap it up. Here it is from the top. Here's the lamp. So that'll do it for this one. Here's the uh, my uh, collider. Actually, it's like a It does about 300 watts. Actually, it's like a, um, an inverter. A different style inverter. That'll be it. Today is the 1st of March. 3 o'clock p.m. And that's it for my... Don Smith Circuit, 2016, March 1st.